All right, so how to actually do what you plan to do. It might sound kind of silly, like, Maz, you just plan what to do and then you do it. Well, as you probably know, it's not that simple. Whether it's Sunday night or the night before, I'd make this whole elaborate plan in my fancy to-do list app, decide, okay, I'm doing this Monday, this Tuesday, this Wednesday, this at 9 a.m., this at 10 a.m., at 10.30, I'm gonna take a break, at 11, I'm gonna do this. But when the next day came around and it became time to actually act on my plan, I simply wouldn't do it. Sometimes things would come up, sometimes I'd run out of time, and that's like, okay, whatever that happens. But more often than not, the truth is I would just sort of directly disobey my plan and end up picking something kind of random to do that maybe needed to be done at some point. So by doing it, I felt like I was still being productive, but in reality, it wasn't actually urgent or didn't really move the needle forward. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about three levels of things that I've started doing to ensure that I actually stick to my plan and get things done that actually matter. So at the first level, we're starting pretty basic with time blocking. And you've probably heard of this product Activity technique before. It's basically where you use a calendar and create different blocks for the different activities that you need to do on a particular day. So for example, what this might look like is you'll have a block in the morning for waking up and doing your morning routine, then maybe doing some deep work, working on a new YouTube video. And you might have a block for going to the gym, making breakfast or doing whatever you need to do. And you kind of fill up your calendar with all these blocks. And so basically throughout the entire day, you're supposed to just kind of stick to each of these blocks on your calendar and only work on the things that you've assigned or planned out to do during that time. And this is a pretty good technique on its own and probably works really well for more disciplined people. And it's something that I've been doing for a long time. But lately, I feel like for me, it just hasn't really been working too well because I think I just don't really follow my calendar throughout the day. And I think part of this might be because I don't have my calendar app, you know, up on screen in my face throughout the entire day. So as I'm doing stuff, I just easily kind of get sidetracked or go too long and just end up kind of ignoring the time blocks. Even when like a calendar notification pops up, like, okay, it's time to go to the gym. It's easy to kind of ignore it and just keep doing what you're doing or not doing a certain thing. But if you haven't tried time blocking, this might be all you really need. And so I would definitely give this a try first and see how it goes for you. All right, so level two takes things a step further. And this is something that I've started doing recently that I think really has helped and is straying a little bit away from the digital productivity system side of things. Basically, what I'll do is at the start of the week, maybe Sunday night, I'll get a piece of paper and list out all the major tasks that I want to accomplish for that week. So I'm looking at just my paper for this past week and I had things like film these YouTube videos, edit a video, plan out some more videos, make thumbnails. I also put my major workouts on here. I want to hit a leg day, push day, some cardio, pull day, leg day, push day, and then also some Japanese study lessons and stuff and a couple more random errands that I wanted to get done this week. But I put all of it just on this one piece of paper. And so this really helped me out because at the start of the week when I'm in a clear sort of headspace, I would would sort of set in stone all of the things that I was going to do for that week because I was sort of guilty of, you know, as the week goes on, maybe in the moment, I'll just kind of change my mindset and change the things that I want to prioritize for that week. And I think a lot of that was just because in the moment I didn't really feel like doing something. So my brain created some sort of excuse for why I didn't actually need to prioritize a certain thing. And so I like this because as I said, it really sets it in stone and I can't you know, drag things around on my calendar. I can't move it quickly to next week on my to-do list. I wrote it out when I was in a sane, productive mental state. So now I have to stick to it. The next, I would take that paper and tape it up on the side of the monitor. That way, anytime I sit down at my desk, it's always, you know, in my face, glaring at me and all those tasks are just always on my mind. So what I like about this system in conjunction with the time blocking is that it allows for some flexibility, but then also so is still strict in the sense that I can't change anything on this master list, but I'm also not necessarily tied to the time that I have to do these things. It's all just, you know, this week I need to get all this stuff done. Now you could also take it a step further and make an individual list for each day where maybe you take a couple things from your master weekly list and put that on a little sticky note or something and then put that on your monitor. That's another thing that I might start trying to do as well for the particular day. But I think you should at least have the weekly 
weekly plan so that way you don't adjust course prematurely throughout the week just because you don't really feel like doing something in the moment. All right, and finally, we've got level three, and this is for all you people like me who have difficulty just following any sort of schedule and always end up just letting the previous task or event carry on too long and don't start the next thing that they're supposed to do on time. And this is to set obnoxious alarms on your phone for sort of key checkpoints or must do tasks throughout the day. And so like I said, the sort of soft calendar notification on my laptop or my phone doesn't really do it for me, just like the ding, because it's just so easy to swipe away. But when I have this obnoxious iPhone alarm and vibrating, it kind of just like wakes me up just like a morning alarm would and actually gets me out of my chair or gets me to stop doing what I'm doing and start doing whatever it is I need to do at that time. So I've got a few recurring alarms set. First one, of course, obviously I've got a wake up alarm at around 6 a.m. And then I've got another one around nine to get up and make some breakfast so that I get some nutrition in and don't just like keep working all morning while starving myself. And I've got another alarm at 12 to go to the gym because I think that's another sort of midday key checkpoint for me where if I don't end up taking that extra size break in the middle of the day, then my afternoon will feel kind of sluggish and I won't be able to focus as well and won't have as good energy. And of course, I want to keep up my fitness routine as well. And I also have another alarm set for later in the day, right before dinner to do my shutdown ritual, where I basically clean up my workspace and get my plan and everything set for the next day. And then finally, I have a bedtime alarm later in the evening around 8.45 or 9, telling me to get in bed, start winding down and go to sleep. So those are the recurring alarms, but then depending on the tasks that I'll have to do for that day, and this is basically where I kind of work with the time blocking system on level one is I'll do my time blocking and I'll maybe say, okay, at 7.30, I need to start filming this video. Then I'll go in my alarms and maybe set an alarm for 7.30 if I really wanna make sure that I actually go and do that. So it's kind of just reinforcing the calendar notification in a more obnoxious way that actually gets me to do the thing. So if you're like me and sticking to some kind of schedule and doing your tasks on time is kind of a struggle, then I would definitely try out some of these techniques and also let me know if there's something else you do to ensure that you not only plan out a successful day and week, but to actually act on that plan and get the things done without getting distracted by random stuff. As always, do something today that your future self would thank you for.